Hi everybody, we are here at the second annual Independent Order of Oddfellows Tractor Show here in Tyner, Indiana. And there are a lot of tractors here, a lot of different kinds. John Deere's, Alice's, Farmall's, Oliver's, everything is here. Behind us we brought today our 730 diesel that me, my grandfather, and my father restored all together. Um, and then I also got my 110 here too, but that's really not as pretty as the 730. Um, I'm here with Braden and Braxton Bee Gees. Uh, they were at our plow day this year, and uh, so they're going to talk a little bit about some of their favorite tractors. Um, my favorite tractor here is probably Brandon 740. We have a very pretty tractor. Mm, looks very nice. My favorite tractor is um, the 1944 styled Model D. I'm Louis Frick. I'm the owner of these tractors. They're all they're three quarter scale and half scale. I started out with this seventy seven here in a three quarter scale. I do have the original one. In 1949, my dad bought it, and I'm the owner of it now. So I made a scale model in a three-quarter scale for that tractor. And then in this one, my dad bought that one in 36, a full-sized one. And I grew up with it, so I built a three-quarter scale of that one. And then the, the other one, the third one, is a half scale. And I bought, I, I owned a half scale of that 1600 or the full scale. I've got that one, so I built a half scale to go along with it. So all three of these tractors, I've got a, the full size ones to go along with them. And uh, it was just started out just to be something to do a, a hobby like. And but as it grown, I just keep building the building. I've got other ones too besides these. So just something to do. This tractor back in the 30s had that, I, all of this stuff, as much as I could use the original, I'd get the original and cut it down. So this cast iron. So that's the original, it's just cut down. Right? That is the original, cut down. That's nice. The hood is the original, cut down. And uh, the gas tank, that one's got another gas tank inside. It was so bad I couldn't, couldn't use it, so I put another one inside of it. But the side panels, I have to make them, and the fenders I had to make. You did a very nice job. Thank you. Uh, I'm Foster Davenport from Plymouth, Indiana. Uh, I'm here with my uh, 1918 Silver Hit and Miss uh, ice cream maker. The engine is 103 years old, and uh, it makes five gallons of ice cream at a time. The engine is three horsepower. It was originally sold to a farmer in Illinois to run a water pump. And it, so it's actually really economical burn. I've been running all day on about half a gallon of fuel. So it only burns fuel whenever it needs to. That's why it hits and it misses. Hi, my name is TJ Herford. We're at the Tyner Tractor Show uh, in Tyner, Indiana. I'm standing in front of my grandpa Herford's 1951 Minneapolis Moline R that I was able to track down 30 years and three owners later after it was sold. My grandfather died when I was 15. It was sold in 1990 and I bought it back in 2017 on my 43rd birthday. I'm standing in front of my grandpa Neidlinger's 1936 Alice Chalmers UC that was sold in 1991 and I was able to track it down and buy it back in 2018. My grandfather died when I was 15. Parade. 
Yeah, around here, definitely. Well, we got here yesterday, and Grandpa's like, well,